everyone, GGK here with a haul video tonight. I Today was my day off and I did a bunch of shopping and I just thought I would share with you. I hope you enjoy. Uh, let's see, the first place I stopped was at my uh, local Walgreens and I got quite a few items there, uh, all in the beauty health type thing. Um, I had heard from some of the other beauty gurus on YouTube about the Revlon top and base coat about how good they are, how shiny the top coat is, and how good the base coat is. And um, I don't usually do my own nails, but I did do them today, and I really like this product a lot, and I think I'm going to stick with it. Um, the color that I have on is an Essie color that I also picked up there. Uh, it is called Splash of Grenadine. It's really a very pretty kind of, um, kind of between a lavender and a plum. Very, very pretty color. Uh, another thing that I picked up there, I actually got two of them today, are the Revlon um, Color Blast Lip Butters. And these are really nice. They're, they're creamy, uh, but they don't feel heavy when they're on, and they last a long time. I got two of them, one in Raspberry Ice, uh, which is this one. I don't think they're showing up very good, the color. And the other one is in Berry Smoothie, a little bit lighter than the other one. Last thing that I got at Walgreens, they had a special buy one, get one half off. And I had heard about the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow, so I wanted to give those a try. So that's what these are. I've got one in Bad to the Bronze and one in Tough as Taupe. I have brown eyes, so I think these will be great. I'm really looking forward. They say they don't they don't like um, crease or anything, so I'm really anxious to, to uh, check it out and give that a try. When I went to the grocery store, I also just happened to go through the nail section. Well, I always do, like, not just happen to. <laughs> I do on purpose, because I love nail products. Um, they ha had this Sally Hansen Salon uh, line manicure. Um, color called Plums the Word. It's a little bit dark, more for fall, but that's okay. I'm starting to accumulate things for fall. And it also came with this um, nail uh, cuticle hand cream, too, a little freebie that was on there. And because it was in the clearance bin, it was only $1.61, so I was really thrilled with that. Okay, another stop that I made while I was out today was at TJ Maxx, and I really like TJ Maxx a lot. Uh, it just happened while I was walking in, they were marking things down. So I kind of got first dibs on some of the things that they were marking down. This is a gorgeous um, frame, on its, and it has a built-in easel. And it's the kind that has, that you just lift this little thing up, and you can slide the picture, and it has the mat on it already and everything. So $3 is all I paid for that. Was that amazing or what? I was very happy with that. Then I got these candles. Uh, I'd never seen this brand before. They are called Candles, spelled with a K. I got Summer Garden and I got Butterflies. And they're very light, summery smells. They both are, look the same. They come in this little plain, heavy glass, which is fine with me. That means I can put them in any room. So those were all of $3 a piece. Then... I just happened to see this really pretty little candle. Um, it has a little charm, a little butterfly charm on. See, so when you take the tag off, it has the little brown ribbon across it and a little charm hanging from it. It is in berry bramble. It has a really nice, light berry summer kind of smell to it, not overpowering at all. And it's in orange. Joanne, just for you, okay? <laughs> and it was uh, all of $2. I looked and looked for other ones, but they didn't have any other ones. The other thing I got were these decorative stones or decorative gems. I like to put these like in a shallow dish and then put candles around them. And I got a big jar of these, and they were only $2. I was very happy. One of the other things that I got is this potpourri. It is Shore Woods, or it's Comforts of Home in Shore Woods. And look at the, the tied up bundle of sticks, and it has like evergreen, and it has leaves and bark, and just real woodsy, natural looking things. And it smells, it has that kind of pine, woodsy, outdoor smell. Going to be perfect for fall. Absolutely perfect. Okay, also, what I actually went into TJ Maxx for was to look for something to put some jewelry on. I was looking for a jewelry stand or something, and I came across this, which is, I guess, a jewelry hanger. 
and um, it is so cool. At the bottom it has these clear plastic three across the bottom that you just slip things into. And then all up the side here are these little ones, like those things that we used to put our shoes in on the back of our closet door. How cool! Then over here these are to put um, necklaces and bracelets on, and they actually Velcro shut. And then up here is a, uh, a cloth tube that unsnaps to put rings on. Then on the back side is just big pockets that go all the way across and each one has like a zipper at the top and then there's three compartments. So that's going to hold a lot of jewelry and I plan on putting that right next to my table where I put my makeup on in the morning. The, and that's what I actually went in the TJ Maxx to get and then I found all the other things. So uh, the only other thing that I got at TJ Maxx are these two pots. I am starting to grow herbs that I want to take in this coming fall. So I wanted to um, have something that will look nice both indoors and out. So I got these two for my herbs. Okay, I'm going to save the Vera Bradley for last. Let me tell you about this guy. I had to take, I babysat or dog sat my grand dog, uh, Dobie, the miniature Doberman Pinscher, and he was very bad this week. So I had to take my Ralph Lauren bed spread to the laundromat to put it in the, in the great big... Um, washers that they have there because mine was not big enough. So while I was washing, I ran next door. There was nothing else in the neighborhood but a uh, Goodwill store. So I thought, oh, I'll just go, you know, and look around and see what they got. Well, they had this, which I believe is called T-Rose in the fault scruff pattern. It's absolutely like brand new. It's not dirty. There's no chips, no discolorations or nothing, but it is the fault scruff name. That's what it says on the bottom. And I got it for two and a half dollars. I plan on putting this on my dressing table and putting Q-tips and cotton balls in it. I think it'll be perfect for that. Okay, let's see. The last place that I stopped was at my local um, Plato's Closet. I am fortunate enough to have a Plato's Closet that seems to get a lot of Vera Bradley items and seems to get a lot of new Vera Bradley items. And these two items are both brand new. This one is still in the original plastic. It's in Mediterranean blue. It was never one of my favorite colors. Um, I may even put this up on eBay. I don't know. But it was only $3, so I couldn't, just, I couldn't pass it up. So um, I did pick that up. Now, this item here. Those of you who are big Vera Bradley um, fans, have you ever seen one of these? I have been uh, collecting Vera Bradley for quite a while. I have a lot. Uh, I recently started collecting um, vintage Vera Bradley, but I have never seen one of these, ever. It is called a jewelry book, and it is in the retired Calypso pattern. Um, at the time that it was out, it retailed for $48, and I got it today for $12. Now, I did... <laughs> I did uh, go to Plato's Closet after I went to TJ Maxx because I probably wouldn't have got the other jewelry thing at TJ Maxx. But check this out. As you saw, it opened with Velcro. And then on the inside, there is row after row after row after row of zippers that you can put jewelry in all the way to the bottom. And then because it's a jewelry book, um, there are pages with more zippers and another page with more zippers and then on the back page there is one zipper here and a great big area here so I really like this a lot for 12 bucks for a Vera Bradley brand new with the tag still on now those of you who do eBay or know eBay go to eBay and type in Vera Bradley jewelry book and see what comes up you will be surprised I'm not even gonna tell you you'll be surprised Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I had a great time shopping today. I enjoy making my videos. I hope you don't mind my stumbling and bumbling through. And I hope you enjoy it. And subscribe. Leave me positive comments of anything else you'd like to do. I'm thinking about doing... Uh, I read a lot. Uh, if any of you are interested in hearing about different kinds of books, I would love to do that as well. Thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend. And bye-bye um, for now.